if you are an average retailer by now you are probably praying to god god just break me even so i can exit and i'll never come back to stock markets again this is not just you i've done this prayer many times in my life and believe me every time the markets recover the portfolios recover and i also don't exit the markets i come back we were all aware that markets are very rich markets have to fall markets have to correct yet nearly all of us fell prey into the trap and considering the huge panic we all are facing right now today also in the nugget section i'll talk briefly about 10 quick points just to reassure you and help you tide this storm no one including me knows when it will end tomorrow could be a beautiful green day nifty next 50 47 stocks down three up we are used to seeing the reverse in today's market varun beverages which was otherwise going down was up 2.7% Dmart which has been sulking for a week that was up Shri Cements Bajaj Holdings Adani Energy these were down least what was down most the public sector banks Bank of Baroda Canara Bank PNB 7% 6% 5% huge volumes people they were throwing the stocks on the road sign of desperation typically one or two days like these and the bears typically are done at least temporarily the problem is when markets go down on low volumes that means a lot more pain has to come nifty 50 was worse 49 stocks down only one up and that stock was icici bank but it was no match for the bears adani enterprises down 4% mnm sbi tcs today also there was only a tail a really long one at the end of it was oil and gas followed by banking aerospace software automobile the electrical utilities real estate oil and gas entire heavyweight pack in fact the smaller market cap stocks were actually doing well today well is a relative word of course consumption pack and auto has done worst in the last two weeks look at the worst sector today oil and gas led by reliance 2% down look at how far lines is from the 52 week high mrpl despite the huge fall yesterday was down 7% today the sector was down 2.2% look at banks icici was up but hdfc down 0.8% sbi 3% bajaj finance 2% banking down 1.4% as a sector on huge volumes defense Mazgaon Dock, Cochin Shipyard, Garden Reach. I've been telling many folks that the entire story of new orders that's not gonna sail through for this financial year. The sector, not the stock, was down 5.2 percent. All bottom stocks are red. I'll tell you something really comical, and I can say with confidence that this is your story as well. Nifty was going down here, somewhere around here. I thought let me take a short position so I bought some put options immediately nifty went up I lost 5000 rupees here my conviction ran out I sold look at what happened to nifty after that probably I would have made 25000 if I had just stayed for two more minutes very hard to keep conviction it's not just you alone even people like me who have spent one and a half two decades in the industry they panic they take the wrong decisions in panic it's okay if you messed up as well don't worry this is the life of all of us look at pfc i was trying to take it beyond 500 till yesterday 442 nearly 5% down bajaj finance there is news that bajaj fincer may break the contract with allianz which is the bajaj allianz contract more than a decade old The public sector banks today were specially picked up for cleaning out PNB down 7%, Bank of Baroda 5%, SBI 3%, and Indusind has hit the 52 week low. First time the red star, the coding which I have done works. IT C of red no place to hide. Zomato the headline number looked good in terms of their results. Persistent results were also okay. but they came after the market hours and nasdaq us markets are all doing fine all these companies mostly work for the american companies what is the problem 
no one came to the defense of the defense pack down 10 to 12 percent 5 percent at least for most talks even the heavyweights hal bl they were down 4 5 percent hindustan zinc suddenly realized that the results were good it went up 2.3 percent rest everyone was down this is now retail throwing away their stocks on the street this is desperation cleaning out portfolios just sell and salvage whatever money you can take out. There was some buying in Varun beverages today. Volumes also were good. The remaining consumption pack was sulking. The cuts were not that big, which is a relief. In the non-edible consumption pack also, only Imami and Gillette were down a lot, nearly 4% each. Otherwise, the cuts were not that big. Consumption in general is treated as a defensive sector that does not fall much in these kind of panic situations. Just that this time consumption stocks have gone through the roof already. Look at the investment pack today. Most profit was here. Everything was down 5-6%. Huge, huge, huge cuts. No place to hide in the oil and gas pack, be it refiners or oil marketing companies. And crude has neither become cheaper or costlier huge huge sell-off i won't even call it profit booking because most of these stocks have not even gone up in today's market also torrent pharma made a new high you might be seeing some stocks that i sold yesterday like sw solar hit a five percent lower circuit same message which i was trying to give yesterday if you know certain stocks will fall for sure there is no harm in booking losses or little profit move out for temporary now. There is no pride in being a long term investor when market is behaving like a falling knife. And yes, of course, market will not tell you when it will recover. I'm shooting the video a little early. I decide to go out for a few drinks. I really badly need some. And the reason why I need a break, Nifty and Bank Nifty down 1.3%. Nifty Energy 2.4, Next 53%, Auto 2.5%. FIDI data is not out yet. But today, volumes will be ultra high. The net numbers could be low. I won't be surprised if FIIs pull a rabbit out of the hat and we find something green. It will not be a shocker for me. But the net number green or red could be low. Good news flow today. Zomato's results were good profit surges 388%. I have not analyzed the results, but I would still like to find out how much is the other income and how much is the income from core business. Adani Green, good results, 39% net profit increase. Adani Energy, good results, profit rises 172%. I hope two more companies of Adani Pack give the same results, Adani Enterprises and Adani Ports, where I have some money invested. Hyundai IPO sailed through, retailers did not make any money, the investors were all down 5-7% by end of the day. Thanks to all of you who have trusted your money with the institutions, the domestic ones. Persistent results seem good, 20% year on year is what I saw at a cursory glance. There is a plus 50 crore entry on account of Forex, which is okay, but still the numbers are looking good to me. Rest markets will tell tomorrow. Interesting data. Apple and Nvidia both are 3.5 trillion plus. Amazon is nearly at 2 trillion. Alphabet is already 2 trillion. Berkshire is above 1 trillion. US markets are fantastic right now. The only ghosts ahead of Halloween are the ones visiting Indian markets right now. No such problems for gold, silver, both of them are hovering around 80,000 and 1 lakh. Bitcoin fell a bit, 67,000. Market is turning me into a monk, my trades for today. Nothing in buy. I found some more mass financials hidden in one portfolio. I sold it. I found eight stocks of page industries hidden somewhere. Sold it. The last lot of ABB, Bajaj Finance. I was not planning to sell it. But then I saw the news of Bajaj Allianz. It is going to spook the market and Bajaj Finance, Bajaj FinCare. People right now don't care. They just need a reason to dump. Overall, all these trades were sold in profit because all of them came from the long-term portfolio. I tried a bit of Nifty and HDFC, AMC intraday. Both of them were red. It is not necessary to watch the bloodbath if you are not planning any action. If you don't want to sell or buy on that day, switch off your computer, your phone. Why see the stock going continuously down? 
it will only lead to anxiety disconnect today also in that day there was a period of 2 hours when i was totally switched out not doing anything once i was done selling walk away this is sell not see if you want to sell don't sell in a bulk because markets can rebound any time now whatever i sold in the last one or two days even today i might suddenly see all those stocks go up 5 10% tomorrow don't buy in bulk either you will be tempted to buy certain stocks which are your favorites you might have money in the hand don't buy and spend all the mo in one go in one duration right now we are not even seen anything international spook us in this fall also remember all this will end markets will go up stocks will go up this is my favorite don't blame yourself if you bought high many retailers will curse themselves because their hard earned money especially the money they might have kept for special occasions or for very important reasons like studies marriages that might be seeming like 40 50% down maybe more don't blame yourself don't do any self harm don't blame the person who gave you those inputs to buy or sell these are your decisions in the end and both of you had intention of making money the intention was good remember that this is important have a list of very high quality stocks ready this is a relative term what that means is good quality stocks that you would expect to go up first that list is important otherwise there will be a time when you want to buy and you will not know what to buy you might end up buying what is not best this you will not implement but still i will mention don't remain married to old mistakes this is a chance to make amends sell the junk at loss this is not a derogatory term this is a relative term if you bought something which has not made you money which is not making money today find something to exchange find money a war chest in market crash will make you rich sips and all are great i don't debate that however these crashes when high quality stocks are available 30 40 50% down 70% down that is where you make multiples and don't borrow from parents don't borrow from your in-laws don't take expensive loans don't use school fees and emi fees then you'll say how will i find money that is the art you have to be ready for these situations these situations will not give you a friend notice also remember next two months 1 crore people 10 million people are getting married across the country there will be money spent despite what is happening in the stock market consumption will happen most companies have given positive growth only even if it is low yes some companies results are low that is okay and in history all wars have eventually ended few points to remember government has not spent the budget for this year because of the elections the current account deficit is one of the lowest i have ever seen in the last 5 10 15 years government spending is pending and the money will be spent before the next budget in my opinion government will not take this budget to the next year and when the cash hits the market stocks will go up remember what happens every time government issues a new defense order all the musgaon docs hals of the world they go up 5 10% in the past many problems were caused or aggravated by huge crude prices energy prices we don't have any such issues which will spike inflation remember when crude went to 130 140 out of control this spiked inflation artificially the final one take it with a pinch of salt this is not a political statement take it in humor perhaps eventually pawns like us don't matter but the king will ask the minister to blink if his throne is under threat there are elections round the corner also final slide for the day find yourself in this picture there are various attributes of retail written here can't book loss don't have money can't take risk fd only is best i will wait for markets to stabilize or i will wait for markets to bottom out this is perhaps me bad lucky kharab hai and a lot of you right now would be thinking stock markets are not meant for me i have left two lines blank if there's something else you can think of let me know in the comment section it will be interesting to know your perspective I hope this section was useful at least to cheer you a bit on a gloomy day otherwise thanks for watching i will see you tomorrow